All right, the question today is, is alcohol really affecting my health? I think it's a fair question for anyone to ask. It's a smart question if, if you're looking for information that you can act on. I think the trouble is with these types of questions that people are sometimes looking for a cherry-picked answer or an answer that they can cherry-pick themselves, you know. They want vague answers like, as long as you keep within the limits of moderate drinking or you keep within the limits of responsible drinking. If you drink a certain type of alcohol and you don't drink this other type of alcohol, then your health won't be affected too much. And I don't think these answers, well, I know these answers don't really address the question, right? They're not meant to. They're meant as ways of easing your own conscience. They're meant as ways of keeping you hiding away from the actions that you're doing. Um, you know, and these come mainly from instant gratification mindsets, from thinking in that way, thinking only in the moment and not thinking about your future. You know, not thinking about your future self. There was a guy yesterday on YouTube in one of the comments, and he commented that you can drink alcohol as long as you eat a lot, you'll be okay. Right? And I don't know what he means by okay. Okay compared to what? Right? Okay in terms of damage or drunkenness? You know, what does he mean by okay? You know, I think the alcohol absorption is slowed when you eat a lot of food. But your body still has to digest the contents of your stomach, right? Uh, it still has to metabolize the alcohol, right? Anyway. I'm getting a bit off track with this one, but you know, people tell themselves stories all the time to, uh, to cover up their own delusions. And we're all like that, you know, whatever, you know, whether, you, whether you want to admit it or not, right? Part of the, um, part of life is just that, is living a certain part of your life in delusion because there's so much that you don't know. You know, part of the delusional mind space, if you like, is, a defense mechanism. You know, I talk about, I've got this theory about teenagers that, um, that they think they know everything uh, and that it's a part of a, necessar a, a necessity, a, a necessary part of the way that we're designed. You know, if they actually realized how little they actually know when they leave home, they would never let go of their mother's apron strings, right? So part of our delusions are a way of protecting ourselves from the immensity of life, you know, of, of the immensity of the universe, of how fragile we actually are, you know. I'm here in the wild here, but I can't imagine being here without the stuff that I've got, without the clothes that somebody else made for me, without the boots that somebody else made for me, the backpack, you know having to fend for myself like they did, you know, hundreds of years ago. That's real fragility. You know, when we walk down here, there's cows on the, uh, on the road and they've got, um, there's horses as well. They've got young, you know, they've got uh, young calves, young foals, and they're incredibly fragile and at risk out here, right? But look, <laughs> you know, some of the delusions that we have in life are, are a lot worse than others, right? The delusion that gives you uh, the desire to persistently pour a toxin into your body has got to be up there with the worst of them. You know? However much you can hide away uh, for the rest of your life from some things, you know, you can, you can delude yourself about some things and get away with it, right? And this is one delusion where reality will eventually catch up with you. You know, if you're taking any kind of drugs, it will eventually catch up with you. You know, I think the, the most real way of looking at this is to ask the question, how is your body designed in relation to alcohol, right? There's alcohol in some foods that we eat, small amounts, usually seasonal, so we get those small amounts over very short periods of time, right? Days or weeks at most. Um, we've done a video about this, about the endogenous amounts of alcohol that your body produces right? You know, there are minute traces of alcohol found in just your normal human digestion. 
your body can handle these small amounts. So it's designed to, um, to handle these small amounts. But these amounts are only a fraction, a tiny fraction of what goes into your body through commercially produced alcohol, right? But we delude ourselves about that. You know, there's no way that the body is designed to handle those massive amounts of ethanol that are, that are produced by whatever, you know. Look at a bottle of, of whiskey, <laughs> of what that would do to you if you drank it, you know. Some people are tolerant to that kind of stuff, but you, you drink that when you're a kid and you're just starting out, that could kill you. You know, the fact that it doesn't kill you when you get older is a testament to the hardiness of your body, of the, um, the system that, you know, that, that you're living with. So the question of, is alcohol really affecting my health would be better stated. Um, how can alcohol not be affecting my health? How can putting this commercially produced toxin into my body not be affecting my health? You know, alcohol, specifically ethanol, is a toxin. You cannot get away from that fact. Regardless of which type of strength, uh, which type of alcohol, what age the, the alcohol is, the flavor, how it's packaged, how it's priced, how it's marketed, that base ingredient, the active ingredient, the ingredient that alcohol drinkers are after, this is why we drink it, is the ethanol. You know, if the ethanol wasn't there, you wouldn't be drinking it. Ask any drinker to drink an alcohol-free beer and see what the reaction is. What's the point in that? I remember in Greece and I was down there and um, we went for a wedding. It was when I'd, um, I got a DUI. I was off the alcohol for 10 months and we went to Greece for a wedding. And I didn't drink the whole time, but I was there and we went into a bar and I asked this Greek, Greek waiter, um, can I have an alcohol-free beer? He said, a, a what? I said, uh, an alcohol-free beer. He said, what's that? I said, it's a beer without any alcohol. And he said, what's the point in that? So that's what I'm getting from, you know? The active ingredient that drinkers are after is the ethanol, right? And all ethanol is the same. All ethanol is toxic. When you consume alcohol, you're essentially introducing, deliberately introducing a toxin into your system and consumed enough times, consumed over enough time, and you're gonna do damage to your organs. You're gonna do irreparable, sometimes, damage to your organs. If you damage your organs, your health is gonna be negatively affected. The more alcohol you consume, the more damage you're gonna have, the more your health is gonna be hurt, right? So wherever the alcohol flows, the damage goes liver damage, fatty liver damage, alcoholic hepatitis, fibrosis, cirrhosis. Then you've got the immediate effects on the central nervous system. You know, alcohol is a depressant, which means that it slows down your brain's functions. And that means that it's altering the way that your brain is supposed to function. This means that you're impairing your judgment, you're impairing your coordination, you're impairing your reaction times. That's just in the moment. But overall, you're impairing your thinking, which is kind of essential for living a good life, right? And what about neurotoxicity? This was the one that I was afraid of the most. Chronic alcohol consumption damages your brain and you can have irreversible damage. You know, you get memory problems, cognitive deficits, even brain shrinkage. And over time, the very structure of your brain, the very structure of your brain and how your brain operates is gonna be compromised. That's your life gone, right? Without thinking, there is no you. There is no your world. There is no nothing. And it's undeniable that um, alcohol drinking is a, a delusion. That's what I'm saying in the beginning. It's a damaging, dangerous, uh, significantly life-altering delusion. It's a delusion that if, if you wake up from this and you unplug yourself from the habit and you start to work on, on the, the underlying mindsets, especially the instant gratification mindset, you can not only live a healthier life, you can live a life 
that you love living, right? Lives that you don't want to escape from, you know? It's a toxin, it's a neurotoxin, and it poses significant risks to your health. So if you're asking the question like this, ask yourself, can you continue to live under that delusion? Like I said earlier, we, we all live under some delusions in life, but this one is pretty bad from anyone's perspective, right? Now, if you want to get some help from this, uh, if you're just starting out on this and you want some help to stop drinking alcohol, we've got a free uh, course. It's called The Beginner's Guide to Unplugging from Alcohol. It's in the description below. Like I said, it's absolutely free and it's a good starter um, pack. It'll take you less than an hour to do, um, but it's really will change some of the, the mindsets and just help you to get a bit closer to making that decision to stop drinking. So take care of yourself and I will speak to you again soon. Onwards and upwards. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth.